because I'm not fast enough to set up the tarp. It might be a headwind the whole way and we've been getting molested by mosquitoes. Well, we're off going to Tamagami this time. I'm with uh, Jessica, my girlfriend. We're gonna start at Axis 22 and then we're gonna do uh, Ish Patina Ridge and uh, move on all the way up to like smooth water and all the way around Lady Evelyn River and uh, Florence and then over down and around to Paul. And then we're out. It's gonna be seven days, six nights. Looking forward to it. Never been to Tamagami, so it's gonna be fun. And yeah, we're, we're trying a, a new method this time too with a single bag. Single bag for food and gear. The food, of, of course, is in, a, in its own uh, its own dry bag, and we're gonna hang that. But we're gonna see if it works. It'd be a lot easier to pick up a bag. Somebody else picks up a canoe, and then we go. So we'll see what it's like. Looking forward to it. Not looking forward to the eight-hour drive it's gonna take to get there, though. But we'll see uh, when we get. To, actually, we're gonna go pick up the canoe first. We got the canoe, Prospector 16 from Rear North. Uh, we're at Algonquin Portage. They say Algonquin Portage in the store, so that's how we say it. Um, next stop, uh, we're gonna get some fuel and keep on going. We're two hours into our journey, another six to go. It's a bit better now, but getting pretty bumpy, almost bottomed out a few times. Gonna have to... Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's... They're not potholes, they're pop, like... Craters. Craters, yeah. <laughs> to get out into a bug apocalypse. You probably can't see them, but they're all around us. Now to get the stuff out and maybe put some bug jacket on. I would like some bug jacket. Now look how dirty this is. I've seen the straps. I had to shake them off before putting them in the car. Going down there. Flow well, looks a little strong. I think we can get through it. Got this new shirt. It's uh, basically got holes in it. So the air goes right through it. Keeps it nice and cool. It's also got wicking technology. Some people say when they wear it, they're very cold compared to everybody else who's super hot and they almost have to put another layer on. So, hopefully it works. The bugs aren't too bad. And they're buzzing around, but they're not biting too much. Um, so that was a pretty rough road. Like, I've never been on a road that rough before. We bottomed out a few times, going like 10 kilometers an hour. Uh, hit a lot of rocks so one thing that I'm gonna do is check my car and if it's leaking something or uh, if there's something wrong with it we need to leave now to get out so I'm just gonna check the engine and that kind of thing look underneath for any like fluids dripping the AC was on, so that's gonna drip uh, water. But yeah, just maybe uh, if you're ever on a road like that with a small car like mine, uh, give it a little look over before you head off on your trip so you don't come back to an empty, 
empty oil or empty coolant or something. So we brought a scale here, a luggage scale. Gonna weigh the pack. Oh boy. Eighty on the dot. <laughs> now we're gonna weigh the canoe. I'll go around this thing. What did this say online? Forty pounds. Forty. We got forty-seven and a half. That's with the safety kit and the yoke pad. But I mean, like, those don't weigh seven pounds. Well, still not bad. I'm as good as a Swift, but still good. So we're here, and we're trying to get all the way up to here or here. It's 4:30, so we better get going. Some fast moving water right off the bat. That's where we're gonna be coming back from. That's where we're going to. Ready? Yep. Let's go. <laughs> Get the chaperoned around. <laughs> Thanks. Oh. Guess I'm getting out now. I'd like to note the uh, weather is a bit sketchy right now. We'll see what happens. <laughs> We're at the first portage. It's all muck. It's all muck. So we're gonna get all this over. The skies are looking grayer. I'm destroyed by mosquitoes. Tamami has mosquitoes. Yeah. We're sitting here in the absence of many bugs, but still surrounded by many bugs. We're gonna be going into there. So hopefully it's not too bad. The thunderstorm that we thought was a problem is... Looks like it's going around now. Yeah. There might be more coming though, so keep chugging along. See what it's like in there. Might be walking a lot. It's so slippery. It's so slippery. This is what today's been turning out to be. Creek travel. Lots of walking. We're on the 195. Oh my goodness. To Woods Lake. Are we thinking of staying tonight? Because it's 7 o'clock and it's getting dark. You good? There are two sites on this lake, one on the east side and one like right here somewhere. So check 
check out this one if it's not occupied and maybe move on to the next one. We'll see. So we're at the southern campsite. You can actually see Ishpatina Ridge back there. You can barely see the fire tower, which is kind of good. Jessica's uh, checking out the campsite, running around, awaiting the report. We do have some sketchy looking weather like moving in. That last bit of weather that we thought was going to hit us didn't. It went behind us. But this is definitely coming for us, so this might be our only choice. Woods is a kind of a small lake, but... Is it worth going out and coming back? That's the question. Here comes the report. So? Well, it's cool. There's only like one spot that might be okay for a tent, but it's kind of lumpy looking. Okay. And a little small. Uh-huh. Like, I like it other than that. Okay. Doesn't matter where you go in Ontario, just Canada in general. Leeches! Leeches everywhere. Crawling everywhere. I want to go for a swim, but don't want to lose more blood. <laughs> Amongst all the thunder, we've got this rock. We can use it to hang the food line. Look at that. Thunder box. What's inside of it? it? Has not been used in a long time. Bear hang complete. Next project, maybe the tarp or cutting some wood. I got this Aqua Quest tarp. Never set it up. I've had it for like two years. It's never rained on our trip, so I never had a need to use it. But uh, we might need to use it tonight. So I'm going to set it up for the first time. Uh, all the line hasn't been cut, so I need to make some even lengths and figure out what works and what doesn't. Yeah, It's, the, it's, a, it's a big tarp. <laughs> Not sure how big it is, but it's one of, one of their biggest. And it's a sill nylon tarp, I believe, so... You can put it partially over the fire and it's resistant to sparks as long as it's high enough. So I'll see what I can make and what lines I can uh, put up. That plan failed. Guess I'm not fast enough to set up a tarp. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for setting it up in here. Huh. <laughs> Guess we'll be waiting this one out. How far did you get? I'm not far. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> jacket on. You're getting pretty bad. <laughs> Something up the tarp. Almost there. Here's what I got for the tarp setup. Over the fire pit. <laughs> it's getting dark out so we're gonna hurry along and get a fire going. Burgers tonight. Cheese on top, filled with cheese. <laughs> Ketchup, mustard, lettuce. It's good. It's hot. <laughs> good. 
eaten by the sunset. Don't know if you saw that bit of a lightning storm happening over there. morning. It's so nice here. We're gonna go up to Ishpatina Ridge today, highest point in Ontario. We can see it from our campsite actually. The weather's looking good. Bit of wind which is nice. No bugs yet on the campsite. We didn't have any rain last night. Just lots of thunder flashing. We did have some wind gusts though. That tarp survived. <laughs> and yeah. Just kind of simple oatmeal breakfast and then uh, off to the ridge and then up through a few portages into uh, smooth water where all the campsites are on the far side. So hopefully we don't have a headwind and we can uh, find a good one. See you campsite. Off to the ridge, way over there. So we made it to this campsite, which is kind of messy. Heading down this trail. Guess we follow this flag tape all the way up to the tower. It's over two kilometers long, so it's gonna take a while. Might get buggy. We brought some bug juice and some uh, bug protection nets. But looking forward to it. Going to the highest place in Ontario. This is where it starts to go up, I guess. Bye. to the highest point in Ontario. Oh, breeze. Oh. Oh, cool. Everyone says the view sucks from here. I think it's pretty nice. Yeah. You can't see the lake, but... Expecting to see like just trees. Yeah, it's like rolling hills for days. Can't imagine working way up there. <laughs> it's a long way up. This is kind of 
kind of interesting. Right next to the fire tower appears to be another fire tower just laying on the ground. Goes into the woods. How long did it take us to get up there? Like an hour and ten minutes. Hmm. It's about the same. Mm. Long one. We're committed. <laughs> We're on the distance today. This poor Josh is pretty nice. Help us! I got 630 meter. Sorry. I'm getting destroyed by mosquitoes. I haven't filmed at all because there's some big wind gusts when we got onto the lake back of the fire tower. And we decided to just go for it. Because we need to get to smooth water. Smooth water is a pretty big one. Oh my goodness. And we uh we're a little late. It might be headwind the whole way. And we've been getting molested by mosquitoes. We didn't shoot anything because it's been very windy today, so we pushed hard to get here. I think I was trying to say that at the end of the last portage, but we were getting destroyed by bugs, so. Yeah, I didn't record much. It was, there was one cool portage. Uh, Jessica took a picture of it. And the 30 meter, it's like a hole in the, in the forest. It's just like an archway. And when you're standing at the portage, you're looking uh, like in line with the water. So I'm, we're guessing that in the spring, it's uh, that's uh, just water gushing through there. And every other time of the year, it's the portage. So, yeah. So we're gonna paddle up smooth water. It's a long paddle until any, any, uh, any uh, campsites. We're already at the little point that sticks out on the west side. So we're kind of close. So? Um, it's very nice, as long as we can find a small tent. Okay. We got a brand new thunder box. That's cool. And it comes complete with pet grubs. With the grubs? Yes. Huh. That's nice. So do you want to stay here or go to the beaches? Well, I think as long as we can find a spot to put the tent, we can stay here. Okay. It's a nice little sight. Kind of get sunset views. And, uh, might put our tent here. A little shrubbery area. That's all we can find that's flat. Everything else is rocks. Rocks everywhere. Need some hammocks for tonight. That's what we need for this side. Trying to make it work. Steak, mashed potatoes, and peppers for supper. Much needed after a very long day. <laughs> Steak during the sunset is the best.
the moon treats us to a nice moonrise before we go to bed here. My everything hurts. Uh, it was a hard day. Not a lot of portaging, but a lot of portages. Yes, a lot of in and out of the canoe, in and out of the canoe, in and out of the canoe. See you tomorrow. I don't know if you can see a trail going on. It doesn't go on. It goes up. This little stream here. <laughs>